is the festival CT says. Um, pretty simple. This is the cord that comes with it. If you look at the cord, it's not our typical festival cord, plug it cord, or hard wire cord. It actually comes out here. Ooh, if I can unplug it, and you'll see it's a, basically a printer cord. So you can take it out. It's 14 gauge. You'll look at the hose. It's a little bit different from the CT Mini. It's a 10 foot hose. It's got the right angle. It's a 27 all throughout. I'm just going to set that to the side for now. If you look, it also comes with this wonderful, and you'll see more of this. It's a shoulder strap, so you can carry it like this. But you'll see also that it has storage for everything up top. And it's basically half a sustainer one. But when I release it here, and I'm going to take out this really quick, and this too. This is the shoulder strap. I'm going to show you what's inside the CT case. Look right here, you have your on off button. And once again, when you plug your tool into here, you'll have your automatic on. So when you cycle on your tool, if it's plugged into here, it'll come on. And then manual if you just want to run it. Pretty simple. If you look inside, you'll see here how everything's connected. It comes with a crevice tool, a poultry tool. It also comes with a one gallon uh, capacity bag. It's removable. And as all Festool bags, when it's full, you can take it, put a blast gate on, throw it out. It comes with a HEPA filter. This is totally 100% RRP certified. HEPA filtration system. Gets down to 1.3 micron. See it's sealed on the side here. It's not designed for wet pickup. You'll see there's a notch here, so when you put the bag in, it locks in. The bag is a 5 micron filter. It's pretty simple. What's neat about this is, like all T-lock systems, I can take it like this, and I can remove this completely. So if I don't want to use this, I can set it aside, and I can use it just like this. I also like it where I can take these, the shoulder strap, open it up, place it in here as well. Also place it in here as well. Pretty simple. And I can carry it on the back like this sideways. Plug it in, use it to whatever clean up. Nice and comfortable, low profile to my side. Also, If you look right here, similar to our older units, we had a bypass called a right here. So if I take this in here, see how I open it up right here, plug it in here. This is a bypass which was similar to our CT22 and 33. So I can create this a suction coming through here. It's bypassed out here and I can use it as a blower. We thought we'd show you how it works. Today we're going to hook up the new Pro 5 Limited hot new sander by Festool um, to show its compatibility between the original 27 millimeter ribbed hose end and the new redesigned dust port on the new line of sanders. As you can see, simply pops right on, no problem coming off. Got the plug it cord, same as ever. And as you can see, I plugged it in over here. It's set to auto. When I trigger it on, it's going to be activated by the trigger on the sander. Notice there's no dust, had really good extraction, 
Uh, regardless that there's no variable suction control on this unit, the sander floats beautifully, doesn't chatter, jump around, stay nice and smooth on the board. Um, just like all the other extractors by Festool, when you turn off the tool here, the vac is still running to clear the line so you don't have any dust spilling out onto your, onto your project. Um, just like all the other extractors, this also acts as a vacuum. Easily cleans up the mess that the tools that are not put to an extractor create. And one of the other things that's really nice is it's still compatible with the clean kit. So if you had excess dust on the floor, no problem cleaning up.